Oh man, I heard you guys got your first part off. Yeah, yeah, so I got it off the five axis. So he's getting it set up on his fixture. Ooh, that's beautiful. Pretty cool, right? So the other week we showed you guys. So the part basically was this, and then we flipped it around, got it all machined in here. And now you guys are gonna do some EDM work, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's got good. a pretty clever design here on the fixture. It's pretty neat. Basically, this started as a square block, and then I came in and I wired the origin hole. So that's gonna be my pickup hole. And then I came in and wired the contour that the fixture is actually going to sit on. And then I've got a hole down here that I'm going to stick a pin through the part and the fixture. And that's going to locate my Z to be flush with the bottom of my fixture, which is also at my table height. It's pretty cool. We did the video right before the holidays and we've been uh, shut down. Yeah, we're just showing it to you in process and doing raw videos and letting you guys come into our shop and be a third person. So just kind of doing a new style. So we're doing the regular videos where we actually show how to do it, speeds and feeds, go through the whole process of actually making the part. But in between that, we basically are doing videos like this where we go behind the scenes and, and, and just bring you through the shop and, and talk about the why and how and troubles that we're having and, and, and just, you know, the ideas behind why we do things and stuff. So this thing is actually super beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually excited nice. on this one because a lot of people don't realize, like, typically everything we, you know, machine and do a video on is the very first part. Yeah. So we have no time to, like, prove anything out or yeah. nothing. And I didn't really make this one to technically prove out the process for the video as, more so as it is to, like, prove the design out because yeah. we need to hurry up and get one made so we can put it all together and make sure that, you know, there's nothing that's off on the model. So I really am happy that it kind of worked out to yeah, kind of prove everything out while I'm doing the part itself. So, super good. yeah. Can you see the elevation on the, the Eagles? I mean, that, that grip right there is so good. So the Titans of CNC Eagles look yeah. amazing now. It feels good too. Yeah, yeah it, it feels, feels, feels good grippy. in your hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's not going anywhere. Super good. Yeah, I was actually worried when I first designed it. I was like, you know how pointy the eagle is? I'm like, dude, this thing's gonna cut your hands to pieces. But actually, you know, since I made it with like a small ball nose, it's actually pretty, not too aggressive. Right. You know, it's gives you enough grip, but it doesn't cut your hands. Cause I actually thought it was like, we're gonna have to wear gloves to even hold this thing, but it, And it's not, it's not, they're not too tall either. You know, yeah, it's like you got not, the perfect yeah. height on the eagles, yeah. So when I was looking at this part, I was figuring out how I wanted to hold it. And I really didn't want to mess with Jesse's beautiful engraving or anything like that. So I didn't want to touch on any of these surfaces and I needed to have access to the mag well to be able to wire it out. So I needed it to be clear on the top and on the bottom. So I was looking at it and I said, well, these slots might work. I might be able to wire something out for those. So that's what we did. So essentially you come in here and then it slides down on those grooves and then we're going to stick this pin right through here and that's it we got our grip sitting out suspended into the tank we've got access to the magwell so we can wire out our magwell and then we basically are going to come in with this little clamp piece that i designed and it slides right down here in the back basically just come in here snug this up and that's really all we need for the wire there's no tool pressure or anything, so it doesn't need to be crazy rigid, but this will give us a fixture that repeats so we can do part after part. And what's cool about it is this is scalable. I mean, we could make this wider and put, you know, a bunch of grips on here. We could set them up, you know, all along the table and, and be able to knock out a bunch at once if we wanted to. And I'm just saying, uh, the boy is looking very manly right now, <laughs> right? You know, so First time one thing ever. that people don't see behind the scenes is like, these are like my kids, man, even Jesse, you know? So <laughs> I just mentor these guys and talk smack to these guys and they talk smack to me. And Someone but, in the comments said that Trevor went from a nice boy to a hit man. So oh, I'm like, yeah. hey, I'll take At it, you know? A man though, a man, <laughs> man, I'm just no saying, you come, to, man. you come to Titans of CNC, man, boom. So if you guys Let's got go. any books that you could recommend <laughs> so on how to be one, he would really appreciate it. I, I don't even know what he's doing here. Is he just here to talk smack? The five uh, axis is over there. So, yeah, so, good. <laughs> so I got a couple other things to show you guys. We're going to go back and check out Barry's part 
and where it's at in this stage, and it's gonna blow you guys' mind. It's gonna be amazing. So, so much for being I'll give you a little. <laughs> I'll give you a little <laughs> bit more information on that, but but I want to show you something real quick. We'll come over here. Kind of cool. So we got the new styles. We showed them already in some of the other videos, but now you got the Siemens controls, and this is what I'm excited about. So you come over here. What's up, brother? Yo, what's up, my man? So good, up, man? so good. How are you? Good, man, good. We finally got this thing ready to roll. You know what? These videos are really cool because now you're behind the scenes. And I don't know if everybody really understands. You guys already know that Travis has worked with me for, what, 11, 11 years, years now, sir. man? Yes. We're like family. We're brothers, man. We pray for each other. We're like, we're like this. And then me and this guy, too, man. Mm. Me and my wife, him and his wife, we're like, 20 years. Keith actually sold me my first four machines and when I was running job shops he would come in I'd be buying the machines from him and showing him all my fixtures and stuff and he was just such a fan so when I say I hired the best in the business for you know selling CNC machines and stuff he literally is the best in the business says everyone and uh because he's just a real real guy he's i genuine. love it though right yeah. we love it we were so at good. lunch yesterday right and we were talking about who better could there be two guys that have more passion for the yeah. industry that's and that's, that's what to you have serve to have. the industry serve the industry when i like i'm 55 now so when i was like 31 he's got 32, me by a year yeah <laughs> i was telling him like how do we actually yeah. lift up the trade how do we teach True people advanced fixturing and advanced techniques and we should make this magazine like cnc expert or something remember you know? sitting on those beautiful leather couches in oh, your in man. your in Not your office day. talking about it yep exactly and Not always dreaming about what yeah. You know what? Because we knew the skills gap was there, right? We yeah. knew that people were leaving. The it's industry. not just the skills gap. It's it's just shops. Shops not in general. able to see into other shops, and Good and call. that's pre social media. Yeah. So you just don't know how other people are doing it. So you know what you can comprehend based on your own experiences and your guys' experiences and stuff. And yeah, it's a lot cool. of people just run on a low level. And we we want our country to rise up. We want manufacturing to be great. And whatever country people are from, I always tell people and people that know me, I'm I'm the most competitive person of all no. time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But what? how is that, what? you know, with, with faith in the Lord, how is that work in that? I'm competitive in serving the most people. Yeah. So if, we, if we're serving and we're touching people in 190 countries, yeah. let's take it up a notch. Let's serve more. Let's take education to the highest so level. True. Let's make it free. Let's make it so nobody can even compete with right. us and just change the industry and make it dynamic. And you realize how big it is, but it's so secretive. People don't even know what CNC so is. True. And that's the problem is that our kids aren't, they don't know what it is. So we make it famous, then we bring education, Awareness. and then we show that education is not just with our kids, it's in the workforce, it's in company owners, people understanding how to actually bring jobs back, make parts themselves yep. and, and make it happen. So, so you look at style, and you look at how style is just getting better and better, and we, we took on the style line, crazy affordable, what is it like? 40, 40 grand, yeah, 38 I mean, if grand. If you look at the machines we've got and what people have been buying. Yeah, you're probably 45 grand with uh, with some good options on there. And if you want to build it up, it, it, but they're they're so affordable. Yeah, and they're great machines. I don't, I'm not trying to sell you guys the machines. So we're, we're going off on a tangent right now. But I actually came to show you guys something. So you guys know the company Hennig. We went to Hennig and, and asked them, hey, you guys make chip conveyors. Can you actually make one for the style? The style is an amazing machine. It's right now it's assembled in China, 100%. But you got, you know, you got parts from all over the world, the best of the best put together to make an amazing machine. So now we have a Hennig chip conveyor that's actually built right outside of Chicago, American made, boom. And so when you actually get it, you can actually get an American made uh, chip conveyor. And I can't say too much, but don't be surprised if the styles are actually assembled in Texas before too long, in a couple years maybe, but I don't know if I was able to say that. 100%, but, but, I think it's, but it's on the down big, low, big but it's coming. It's coming, and uh, but super cool, check this out. You know what's yeah. nice, they, they matched it completely with the color of the machine, yeah. so. No, it looks like one unit. Looks we like sent them the samples yeah. and they were spot on with that. So it just, it's a good, clean fit. Yeah. Great so fit. basically you just take this guy, Hennig, Take this bad boy out, slide it in, 
plug it in and you're pretty good. Well, and now Boom. you have and now you have a machine that's much more production capable, right? Nobody likes to pull chips out of machines over and over and over God, again, no. you know. And that's, so well, and again, the chip, really. the chip tray is, it's, you know, it's not terrible, but it's not, it's you not, know, like you but, said, but most, if you're running and running and running. What I love about these guys, though, they said, Titan, I think you mentioned it, right? They, when we were talking to them, they're like, hey, uh, you said lit, these things are going in garages, so they don't, you know, they, yeah. they, you need to make sure this thing doesn't take up a lot of room. So if you look at this chip conveyor, we, we, when we told Hennig, you know, a lot of these go into garages. Yes, we've done, you know, plenty of them in industry as well but space is an issue. Yeah. They changed the degree of what this thing can, can release the yeah. chips at was, just to save room. It was like well, at a 40 and they kicked it up to like a 25 it, or something like dinner. that. Yeah. We were at dinner and then they sent us the picture. Correct. And they had a 55 gallon That's right. drum underneath it. So and it was like sticking way out. And yep. I told you, you're like, that like, ain't gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna work, it's too big. Too big. So yeah. now you just get a nice big plastic bend and put it under there and it works perfectly yeah. so mm -hmm. yeah it's good and it doesn't take up much room off the side of the machine i think i measured it it's like 22 inches 26 inches somewhere in that range and and literally slides right in and plugs right in like cool. you said so very good right, thank oh. you brother yep we'll see Next you soon time you come around man it'll have yeah, a conveyor he, sells machines oh. he installs uh chip conveyors chip conveyor. <laughs> <laughs> mostly one of the cool things too is we're actually taking out this s33 from united grinding and then we're bringing in another one with completely different technology. So full simultaneous on the B axis. That's the upgraded control. The, the other control coming is basically, it's similar, just more advanced. Everything's more advanced. So, so what's cool is we keep updating. So you can go on grindingacademy.com. You can learn how to actually work those controls, do setups on that machine, basically make parts on this machine and then the upgraded version, we're going to teach you how to make parts on that machine. So it's just machine after machine after machine, all free education. You get the machine, you go to our academy, it teaches you exactly what you need to know. You don't have to have somebody else coming in and teaching you. We teach you everything. So a lot of you guys know, if you guys follow me on LinkedIn or my personal Facebook, I'm very open about this transformation. It's not even a transformation, it's a reinvention. So. Last year, I took some very serious steps in my life at 55 to make myself healthier. I lost 35 pounds. As a machinist, I, I look at all variables and, and you want to optimize and, and take every variable to the highest level so you can outcompete everyone so you can make money in this industry. In life, because that's how my, my mind works, I just did the same thing. I looked at my wife, I looked at my kids, I looked at my team, my company, I looked at you guys, I looked at the videos we're making, hence we're now bringing you guys, like we're giving you guys an immersive experience, like let you guys see the real titans of CNC and really talk about the why behind everything, not just the spectacular videos, we'll still have that, but we wanna give you the why behind everything and stuff. But I really looked at it all these different levels, the way that I dress, all of it, and just took it to a higher level. And uh, this year I'm excited because we're gonna continue the reinvention. I've been calling you guys out uh, on my personal pages, but now I'm calling you guys out right now. I read the comments, you guys got questions, like bring them, you know? But I just wanna inspire you guys. Look at your life, analyze your life. Look at your faith, look at your fitness, look at what you're putting in your mouth, the food, the health, all of it. Look at all of it and take it to a new level. Let's reinvent ourselves. Let's become who we need to be to be who God created to reach the goals that he set for us. If you, if, if you don't believe, I love you, man. It's all good. This is me. It's my journey but I just speak freely and stuff. I love all nationalities. I love everybody, all people and stuff. But I just want to like give you that. This year, let's make it a year of greatness. Let's go to the highest level. Look at every variable in your life. Let's take it to the highest level. Boom, so good. All right, let's go see. That's what he does when he's not on camera. Hey Donnie, get to work. that guy <laughs> so funny but over here 
Whoa. <laughs> you're good. What's you're up, supposed bro? to yell boom before you run up behind hey, me. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing good, bro. So good. Now so that good. I've had my heart attack for today. <laughs> so it's cool. I showed you guys what was in the machine. Brilliance in there happening. And uh, then we went on break, and we've been on break through the holidays. And every year I give my entire team paid all that time off to spend with their families. And uh, now we're back. And it's already got progress happening. So he's actually getting into the nooks and crannies and yeah, stuff. Money. And yeah, so check this out. So right now we got the majority of our head roughed out. We left the bottom solid. So that way we can come back later after we have all the finishing done on the head. But we went through our big tools, our face mills and stuff, our end mills, and now we're down to a quarter inch ball. So we're getting into some of them crevices underneath like the hairline and in the ear and stuff. And uh, it's starting to take shape. So witness greatness. And even so, more impressive, I haven't even rubbed the holder on Trump's forehead or anything yet. Like ooh. it's still perfect. I told him, I told him you crashed pretty good. So if you do crash the machine, just crash a drill like <laughs> Bing, right there, it actually take it to another level right there. You know what I mean? But don't hit anything else. I literally threatened this man, if you crash on Trump, that's now we got a problem. You know what I mean? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, now, don't do it. Now that we don't have a, a president that doesn't fall up the stairs. Oh, you know? don't, yeah, we're not going to go <laughs> beep, beep, beep. So it's kind of cool. So Bryson DeChambeau, famous, amazing golfer out there, that guy actually lives like 20 minutes away. He's a good friend of ours. We're doing some cool projects together. And uh, he actually is super good friends with Trump. So he, they actually golf together and all of it. So he's actually gonna take Trump that we're machining right now. We're gonna put it in a Pelican case with wheels and he's gonna roll it right into the White House and actually personally give it to Trump. And that's gonna be insane. So we're looking forward to that. And uh, hey, God bless this country. God bless all you guys. No matter where you live in the world, you need to make your own parts. You need to look at all the things that we're teaching and use it for your own people so you can bring wealth and knowledge and all of it and just rise on up, man. Manufacturing is a global industry and uh, we're here in Texas and uh, we love you guys. Love you, brother. Yeah, buddy, love Bold. you too. Looking sick. I know, Super making good. manufacturing so, great again. Oh man.